Probability is an important concept you'll need for the Praxis Core math exam. This quick video will review definitions and examples to help you study. First, let's review random sampling. A sample is a subset of a group being studied from a total population. The exam will test you on your ability to identify a valid sampling method. Poor sampling will gather data outside the scope of the population. One example may be surveying parents at a school about the opinions of students instead of asking the students themselves. Poor sampling may also over or under represent a subgroup of the population. An example of that may be only asking music majors about budgetary cuts to the music program instead of asking all majors and all students. Good sampling, on the other hand, will be random. It will also represent many types of members of the population being studied. Let's look at actual probability. Probability is the likelihood of an event occurring. The formula for probability is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total possible outcomes. Take a look at this bag of marbles. If we wanna find the probability of a red marble, we can use the formula. We need to put the number of red marbles, six, over the total number of marbles, one, two, three, 10. The probability of pulling out a red marble is six over 10. We can simplify this to get three fifths or put it as a percentage, 60%. The complement is the probability of an event not occurring. So we said the probability of pulling out a red marble is 60%. The complement of choosing a red marble must be 40%. Complements need to add up to 100% or one. Think about it. The only options are to pull out a red marble or to not pull out a red marble. There is no in-between. There is a 100% chance that I will pull out a red marble or a non-red marble. Here's an example of probability on the exam. The principal has identified 11 second graders, 10 third graders, and 12 fourth graders as outstanding leaders. One student will be randomly selected to win a gift card. What is the probability that the selected student is a second grader? First, let's identify the number of favorable outcomes. Set up our equation here. So we're looking for second graders and it says right here that there are 11 possible second graders. Then we need to find the total number of possible outcomes. So 11 plus 10 plus 12 is 33. 11 divided by 33 in the calculator is three repeating or 33%, choice B.